Oh, you're a dirty boy. You are a dirty, dirty boy. That's some good Oklahoma red dirt on you there, buddy. Hey folks, welcome back to the Rock and Sea Homestead. My name is Lance. I want to welcome you to our channel. It is a beautiful day here in central Oklahoma. It is in the low 60s. The last couple days we've actually had a record low temperature in the morning. For this time of year, it's just insanely crazy. Uh, I think yesterday it was actually in the high 50s, which is, like I said, just insanely crazy for us. But I'm out here feeding the goats and the chickens this morning. Hey boys. But when I came out here, I've been noticing this last couple days. We're starting to get some webworm on some of our trees. And I talked to my dad and he was saying the only way he knows how to kill it is by cutting down the limb and burning it. Do you guys know of any other way to do that? Leave it down in the comments, I'd love to know. You are a dirty, dirty boy. That's some good Oklahoma red dirt on you there, buddy. Yeah, sure is. Sure is, big fella. What you doing, Huck? Big fella. How's it going, Marty? Hey, Maisie. How you doing, girl? Yeah, you ready for some food? Hey, girls. So I'm getting ready for work here. I've stopped at the uh, MyQ station, which if you guys don't know, it stands for My Curic. So some of you guys may stop at Circle K or 7-Eleven or those kind of things going to work. Since I work from home, I have to stop at my own little gas station and get some coffee. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to try some of the, actually, I'm going to try it for the second time. I'm going to uh, use some of that chocolate mint in my coffee, and uh, it, it's pretty good. I tried it the other day, and it's, uh, if you guys have ever had like a, uh, like a thin mint Girl Scout cookie, it almost tastes like that. It's pretty cool. See, I got the little chocolate mint bag out. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull these off, put them in a little metal strainer device that we have. I'm just going to use the whole stem. There we go. Put this back in the fridge. And use it some more. Boom. I've mushed these together, so I'm mushing them together. And the last time I did this, I just put the leaves in there and just let them steep the entire time I was drinking my coffee. And that was a little too strong. So I'm just going to set this in there for now. I'll let that steep for a minute or two, and then come back and fix up the rest of my coffee. So it's been about five minutes I've let this thing steep, so I'm gonna kind of crush it around with my spoon and get all the goodness out of it, and then fix my coffee, and I'm heading to work. Splendor. A little sugar free coffee made. Vanilla flavored. And I'm off to work. 
you may. See you guys later. So today I just got off work and I'm heading into town to the local library uh, to go to a water harvesting class. So it's something that, that I've really wanted to do for a long time, especially after seeing some of the, uh, some of the other YouTube channels that they're doing it. Uh, especially like the Big Green Project, they are just rocking it out with their water harvesting system. And even, even at a smaller scale, even what, like what Al Lumna does over at Lumna Acres with his chicken coop and his uh, mobile pig mobile or whatever they call it, you know, where they harvest a little bit of water to go into the tank and they water out their animals that way. You know, one thing that we have on our homestead is we have a lot of roof surfaces when it comes to the house, comes to the uh, barn, and even the, even the chicken coops in the, in the goat pen area. I think we have enough area to harvest some water. So one of the great things about the place we live in, which is in central Oklahoma, by Norman, Oklahoma, which is by the University of Oklahoma, and we have a, another university right up the road uh, called Oklahoma State University, and that's actually the, the agriculture and mechanical uh, university in the state, or one of them. And throughout the state here in Oklahoma, each county has like a, a county extension of OSU, I think most of them do, at least in the bigger cities. And ours actually has one over by the library or actually by the uh, fairgrounds. And and, they're, and they've partnered up with our local library system here in, in Norman, Oklahoma. And they are actually putting together a water harvesting class. So we're gonna go there and see um, what it takes and see what kind of local resources there are to support it. And uh, hopefully we can get signed up maybe for some uh, this kind of products or maybe some free products I'm not for sure I guess we'll find out here in a little bit but I'm heading that way I'll probably take about 30 minute drive so I'll give you guys a little bit of shot on the way in uh, but I'm gonna start driving because I don't want to be late super excited about this like I said before uh, something that me and Marcy have been planning on long term on what we want to do to the to the homestead because like I said there we have a lot a lot of different um, big rough surfaces that we can harvest water and water the garden or water the animals or whatever it may be we have a lot of uh, surfaces where we can harvest that water and potentially use it for different things around the homestead so I made it home from the event, it was awesome. Learned some great information. <clears throat> Met some great people. Uh, actually, the city of Norman does quite a bit when it comes to water conservation. And uh, they have different programs for trying to conserve water and help with watershed issues, contaminants in the water. Great information about the rain barrels, how to set them up, what to look for, uh, even where to get them. And so, pretty good information, a great class. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where it, it's, you know, I'm sure these go on all over the place. You know, there was probably 10, 12 people there um, and then it, or for the entire event. And it's one of those things, it only took an hour out of my day, but it's great information. And it's something that, uh, you know, all of us should be involved in, if, if, and at least in some aspect. I mean, some of the information that they gave us about how much water you can get from your from your roof even if you have a small roof it, it was outstanding uh, how much water is actually available so you know it's one of those things where if you want to try to conserve water or try to get some water to plant your uh, water your plants um, just a little rain barrel will, will definitely survive if if not a bigger one or, or, or whatever your situation is so again go out there look in your local area see what can be found uh, and see if there's anything that is um, that's available for you to, to research and get involved in. So like I say, great event, great times. 
and glad I went. Well, I'm sitting here editing this video and I realized I did not do a closing. So guys, thanks for coming back, watching our video. If you guys made it this far, you are a trooper. So appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed already, there should be a subscribe button right down here. Click on that, would really appreciate it. it helps out the channel. Give us some big thumbs up. Leave us some comments. If you harvest water, tell us how you do it down below. What's your favorite method? What's your, what are some uh, pitfalls that maybe you fell into and uh, some troubles that you've had with it? It'd be great to hear that and uh, understand exactly how that works for you. So, and here in a little bit, there'll be some videos popping up about right here. Make sure you go take, uh, take a look at one of those if you haven't seen it already. And uh, we would appreciate that. Just helps out the channel. And God bless and have a great day. And we'll catch you on the next video. Bye.